Hello everybody back here again with another video today which of course is kind of good slash bad news if you are an Ottawa Red Blacks fan or just a fan of Jeremiah Mazzoli in general as it is appearing like the veteran passer is expected to miss about 10 to 12 weeks due to the injury he sustained in that game against the Rough Riders where Garrett Marino had that late hit. Uh, that of course was obvious that something was going to come out of this and Mazzoli looked hurt right away. I can imagine that that would be pretty painful. And at first, a lot of people feared that it was an ACL tear, which would be bad, really bad news for Mazzoli. And that doesn't seem to be the case, which is the good part of this video. As TSN's Foreign Logy had this to say about Mazzoli, quote, some good news on Red Blacks quarterback Jeremiah Mazzoli will not require reconstructive ACL surgery. However, he will have a bone-based surgical procedure, will be out long-term, 10 to 12 weeks, but there is a chance he'll play before the end of the season, end quote. Now, this is better news than expected, but knowing this, they, as a team, the Ottawa Red Blacks, are going to be without their starting quarterback for the very foreseeable future. You know that it's going to be possibly three months, and Ottawa doesn't have the luxury to think about that because they are without a win. Of course, the coaches, the players, the fans are all going to know, but they cannot just hone in on that one thing, and they got to get focused back on trying to get a win. And they will be playing, of course, another team without a W this year, the Hamilton Tiger Cats, on Saturday, which means that likely second-year quarterback Caleb Evans will be starting behind center. Evans played in eight games last season and attempted 182 passes while completing 108 of them for a completion percentage of 59.3. He had five passing touchdowns and nine interceptions on the year and added another 345 yards on the ground with three additional scores coming with his legs. Personally, I really like Evans and I don't know if I'd say that he's going to be a franchise quarterback but I am liking the fact that he'll get experience. Not liking how he's getting the experience because of the injury, but liking the fact that he will be getting some more experience. I know from looking at those stats from last year, you're probably thinking, why do you feel hopeful about him? I just feel like you look at his first game, and you remember how good he was. 15 for 22, 191 yards passing with three touchdowns. Also had seven carries for 59 yards in the winning affair. And you remember that game, and you thought, maybe Ottawa has a guy for the long-term future or maybe the short-term future, things kind of derailed there a little bit. But the team is much better this year than last year. And I'm thinking that uh, he could be a guy that could fill in and maybe get back to that form. Again, not a guy that's probably going to throw for 350 yards. But if he is efficient, if he's able to move out of the pocket, if he's able to get those runs, if he's able to just make those quick passes or to find that space, kind of like how he did against Edmonton in his debut, then Ottawa is going to be in a spot where they can win a few games. The CFL absolutely will not be the same without Mazzoli for this time span, but the reality is for the team and the fans, of course, is we have to wait for Mazzoli to heal. And in that time, we just got to wait for him to get back, and hopefully he will be able to get back so we can be excited for his return. But that's all for this video. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night.